Right everyone, welcome back to here. Right, I thought I'd do a video on self-defence items. So, the question is, can I carry anything as a weapon in the UK? Now, the quick answer to that is no, you can't. If you carry anything for self-defence, it's classed as a weapon, and then you can be arrested for it. But, there are plenty of things you can carry that are not weapons. What I'll show you in a minute is a big selection of items that you can carry, totally legal, they're just general, everyday items that, in a push, if you was ever attacked, someone's trying to kill you, rape you, hurt you, rob you, these items, which are completely legal to carry, could save your life. As I mentioned, nothing in the UK can be carried for self-defence. So all of these items have to have a legitimate use while you're out. And that's what you have to remember. Don't carry something that has no use. If you're carrying something that has no use, then, then you know the police would suspect it's a weapon, and I can totally understand that. So everything you carry, if you want it for a reason that could save your life, it must have a legitimate use on a day-to-day -day basis, basically. So I'll show you the tabletop now and we'll see what we've got and I'll explain all the items. Right, so what I have here is as many items as I could get. There are a few things missing, which hopefully I'll remember to mention at the end. So we'll go from this end to the front. So boots are always quite a good item to wear, especially steel toe cap boots. We've got some walking sticks here. So I've got a shillelagh there. This one's more of a sort of walking staff, and here I've got a um, a yardstick. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, deputy's yardstick, made from a hoe handle. This is a quite a formidable thing. This is all of those are completely legal to carry because they're walking sticks. And I've got an extendable metal one here, so it goes nice and short like that. But you can also extend it out. A full length like a hiking stick and that is quite heavy duty as well and that locks in place shut so various walking sticks and I've got video showing you how to make most of the homemade things on this table as well so you've got sticks there are also umbrellas that you can carry that are really good um, this is a heavy duty one this is a great one but you could also carry the small umbrellas as well they're great, um, they're a good size, decently weighted, yeah and as I mentioned this one's a heavy weight one, a uh, heavy weight and heavy duty one. We've got legal carry knives, now there's no end of legal carry knives, this is a Lansky Madrock, this one is a, a Bird Turn I think, these are all um, non-locking under 3 inch, you've got the Swiss Army pen knife. This is the Lansky World Legal um, Army knife there, British Army knife. Um, and this one even has a flashlight on it, torch with a strobe on it, which we'll get to later, strobes. Um, yeah, this is on the SEMA, I think it is. That's a good uh, knife. Um, legal carry knives. Now, those will depend where you're going. They, they are legal, they're totally legal to carry, but I would not recommend ever carrying a legal carry knife in a pub or a club. Um, they're illegal in schools, stuff like that, but walking around where you, you know, you're not in a place where this would be a big issue, they would be fine. Scissors, especially women could carry scissors, cutting your hair, stuff like that. This is a larger pair of scissors but you can get the smaller sort of nail type scissors they're really good um, water bottles glass water bottles will also work but this one's a metal one when these are full of water they've got quite a decent bit of weight in this one has a sort of rubber handle so you can hold it and I like this one because of the shape of it it's shaped like a beer bottle has a decent quite strong um, lid it's very hard to get off, as in pull out of the thread, and um, you can put a lanyard on it as well. So 
That's a really good option, I think, because your hand can go in it, won't, won't drop it. But then there are smaller little bottles. This is just one I found. I kept this one because it was a metal bottle. Um, yeah, that's another good little option. Keys can be handy. They've got a decent bit of weight to them and they can be sort of swung about. Heavyweight belts with a decent big buckle on. You know, that would definitely work. You'd also wrap that around your hand. Um, I wouldn't risk taking my belt off. My trousers would probably fall down. Money pouches. So this is a money pouch that I made. I've got a video showing you how to make this. It just has money in the bottom. Um, a drawstring at the top. Holds your coins. And yeah, decent bit of weight in there. This is a coin pouch that you can buy. That one zips. And then another one you can buy are these sort of um, metal tub type things that you can put um, containers that you can put coins in. Fill that with coins and put a lanyard on it. Very good. Over here we have some cycling gloves with a hard knuckle area. Again, work great. One of my favourite things to carry personally are tactical pens, heavy duty tactical pens. Now this one is a stainless steel pen, weighs a lot, got a proper tungsten steel tip. It is a Laix 009 I think. I'll put some details in the description if you want, and if you want to know anything just ask. That is brilliant. Um, you can get aluminium ones, that's a, another aluminium one. That is a basically a tactical pencil. That one is a cold steel pocket sharky, but it's been modified. But it's been modified to take a standard pen rather than a sharpie. And I've also taken off the details. Go on over keys. Padlock on a chain if you're riding a bike or anything like that, or it doesn't necessarily have to be for your bike. This could have been taken off your gate while you go out. So when you go back home, you lock your gate back up. You can't lock the gate up while you're, you know, while you're not at home because other people might not be able to get in or, or whatever. But yeah, padlock and chain, definitely an option, but you definitely need a reason for it. We've got some more keys here, keys that are on you could either have it on a chain or a bit of string or a bit of leather stuff like that that can be swung around and then finally on the table we've got some flashlights torches so you've got a 2d cell mag light there and you can modify these nowadays to have a strobe as well so obviously these big ones you know you can see why they would be good this is another good alternative to the mag light this one takes i can't remember what batteries they are but they're big they're bigger than 18650 heavy torch uh, I put lanyards on all mine this one did not have a lanyard neither did the mag lights but I put mag I put but I put lanyards on my um, bigger torches I just think it's a, a good option to have and then these smaller torches they strobe so I'm going to strobe this now so again once you've been strobed in the eyes you can't hardly see anything and you can get little torches that strobe and even tiny little ones now that's all the stuff I've got on the table there there's plenty of other stuff you can wear but it's that's a different thing that's more um, that's more protecting yourself per se like body armor um, slash slash proof gloves and other materials stuff like that there's bump caps I've got videos showing that kind of stuff. The only other thing I don't have here right now are things like Farb Gel and um, Dog Repellent Sprays. Farb Gel is a criminal identifier. It's got nothing toxic in it. It's just an ink. So that is completely legal to carry. And the dog sprays are for deterring a dog that is trying to attack you. Again, those are completely legal to buy on Amazon and eBay. So yeah, um, so these are some of the options I know of. The, the thing I like about most of these things is there's so many variations of them. There's thousands of legal carry knives. There's 
put hundreds and thousands of um, tactical pens. I would always say though, if you can, go for a stainless steel one because they are so much heavier um, than the aluminium ones and they often are quite long as well so that when you hold it there's quite a bit sticking out. Um, some of these aren't very long but they still work. Bottles you can get no end of those, flashlights, torches you can get no end of those so there's a lot of options for these things. I do really like this bottle as I said I just like the shape of it, it fits in your hand well um, and again walking sticks there's thousands and thousands of those you can get absolutely thousands of them but yeah anything on here that's homemade I should have a tutorial on how to make it and if you would like details on any specific things just ask in the comments but yeah those are some of the general items that you are allowed to carry perfectly legal because they all have a legitimate use uh, and I hope that helps you um, if you have any ideas for other things let me know but just remember everything you do carry must have a legitimate use for what you're doing at that time while you're carrying it because people suggest things to me and I say well no because why would you be carrying that that has to have a legitimate use and it has to be a legitimate use for while while you're out at that time if you if you were stopped let me know what you think don't forget to like the video share it places if you think you know anywhere that uh, might find this interesting or to your friends definitely leave, leave a comment subscribe I do lots of this kind of videos I do lots of weapon related videos and um, some prepper type stuff you, you know you can probably guess what the kind of videos I do but yeah I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found it helpful, alright? See you later.